Well, a much anticipated video game in the Harry Potter franchise is set to be released this week with a groundbreaking addition. And what does The Rock have to say about meeting Adele at the Grammys? Variety Chief Correspondent Elizabeth Wagmeister joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. We of appreciate course. it. It's always great to join you. I know. And um, yeah, I loved the Grammys. We're still talking about the Grammys. There are all these wonderful moments. The, the moment that The Rock met Adele, mm -hmm. people immediately started talking about and you got to talk to Dwayne Johnson about it. Yes. Yeah, so I was the only person that The Rock himself spoke to. He actually sent a voice note to me on his way out of the Grammys That's that amazing. night. Because he was so excited that he got to meet Adele. So I think by this point we all know that Adele has been a longtime fan of Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> and she said that she would cry if she ever met him. So what happened is The Rock has been in production on one of his upcoming films called Red One. And he was really hoping oh. to rap so he can make it to the Grammys because he and his wife, who's a singer, they love music, they wanted to go. So once he confirmed his attendance, the producers came up with this idea and they said, what if you surprise her at the top of the show? And it really was a surprise. Like she truly did not know that he was going That's to come. That's so great. Yes. And then we all saw when she won her big award, he happened to present to her and that was total fate. He did was not know. It? I mean, was it, or a lot of people said, was that <laughs> foreshadowing that they did this little, you know, surprise and then he was the one that to announce her win? So I was skeptical as well, but uh -huh. I think what the producer smartly did is they had him present her category in case she did win, but he really didn't know that she won. So he said to me, he's like, I love this woman. I'm such a fan of her. I know she was a fan of mine, but I'm a huge fan of hers. She's inspired generations and oh, generations so cool. to come. And I just think it's very cool when you see some of the biggest A-listers in the world, even they get excited. Get uh, yes, absolutely. Well, I want to stay on the music theme. Mm -hmm. there, Variety ended up breaking the story yesterday mm -hmm. about the Michael Jackson estate selling the music catalog. Tell us about this. Yeah, so this is big news. We broke the news yesterday that Michael Jackson's estate is looking to sell half of his interest, and the catalog would be worth somewhere in the range of 800 to 900 million dollars. Now this would be the biggest catalog sale in history and this has been a trend that we've been seeing. Yep. In the age of streaming a lot of artists are looking to sell their catalog. We just saw recently Justin Bieber. I was gonna say yeah. He sold his for 200 million dollars. That was the biggest estate sale for someone under the age of 70. Right. Obviously MJ one of the Biggest, biggest names of, names of in yeah. history, if not the biggest. So no surprise here that it would be the biggest deal to ever be made if it is. But this means that, you know, they would have interest for obviously music, but also MJ, the musical and the upcoming biopic about wow. Michael Jackson. That's a lot. Well, uh, one of the other things you're talking about, the Hogwarts Legacy game coming this week has a new character. A lot of people are very interested about this. Yes. So the new Harry Potter game in the Wizarding World is going to introduce the first transgender character oh. in the entire Harry Potter world, meaning every single part of Harry Potter, not just this game. Now, obviously the reason why this is getting attention is because J.K. Rowling. I was gonna say, how does this go together? Yes, so J.K. Rowling, for those who may not know, she has made comments, many comments that have been perceived as strongly anti-trans. Yeah. The stars of Harry Potter, like Daniel Radcliffe and uh, Emma Watson, they have all spoken out against this in support of the trans community. Now there's this character who says that I'm a witch, not not a wizard. That's ah. how people are perceiving it to be the first trans character. Okay. But I have to tell you, J.K. Rowling is not involved with this video game, but of course it is based on the world that J.K. Created. Rowling created. Yeah. So that brings up the question, is she receiving money from this? Mm. I would say probably yes, given that it's based on her world and her characters. Wow. So much to unpack there. But Elizabeth Wegmeister, thank you so much for helping us through that. Very interesting stuff. You can find more information about Elizabeth and Variety by going to kcalnews.com, clicking Scene on TV.